today I'm going to show you guys my top 10 favorite lipsticks. Yes, I have gone through my entire lip collection. I've literally had a whole arm of swatches as I was curating this down to the top 10, but I finally have picked my top 10 out of my entire collection and I'm going to share them with you today. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you. Now, before we get started, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. I zoomed in quite a bit because I'm actually going to show you guys what each one of these lipsticks look like on my lips. So I guess like we're going to do lip swatches and I've also got some B-roll to kind of put in here as well of me swatching the lipsticks on the back of my hand. Look at me go being a fancy YouTuber, hey? <laughs> now let's get on to the first lipstick because you guys know if you've watched any of my recent videos, you hands down know this lipstick is going to be in this top 10. It's also the lipstick that I am wearing on my lips right now and my absolute top 10. I actually, none of this is ranked. Don't make me do that. It's not going to happen. But I will say, I do think this might be my all time favorite lipstick out of my entire collection. I probably can pick the top number one and I think it's this one. And it's the Natasha Denona My Dream Lipstick. This lipstick is impeccable. And as I said, I have it on my lips today. I also do have it with the Natasha Denona My Dream Lip Liner and the lip gloss as well. I have countless, and I mean countless videos, nearly every video since I got this lipstick, I have worn this lip, like this lip. It is the best, perfect, everyday shade. It just is the perfect neutral nude, nude, <laughs> need, nude for me. It's hydrating on the lips. It's long wearing, but it's not like a matte or liquid lip, right? Like you are going to need to reapply it, but it's still pretty long wearing for the fact that it's a satin, but it's just so creamy. doesn't hurt my lips. It's easy to put on and it's the most perfect shade of all time period. And I really hope that this is not limited edition because I will riot if this is taken from me. I will riot. Okay. I did also forget to mention, sorry, that all of the lipsticks will be linked down below in the description box for you. If you're wondering how I got this look right here, I will also, it's coming. It won't be up already, but it is coming. So stay tuned. Next up in my top 10, and I can't stress this enough, none of this is ranked, okay? We did my number one, but none of the rest are ranked. But next up is the Givenchy Sheer Velvet in the shade number 10, which is called Beige Nude this lipstick you guys first of all the packaging the pink velvet oh i love it the little studs down here oh my gosh i just i love this packaging this lipstick purchase is actually the complete and utter fault of andrea ali usually if someone is going to make me splurge on a lot of lipsticks it is andrea ali i don't know what it is about her like when she does her favorite lip product videos but i'm all here for them and i end up usually buying all of them for some reason and this one was a really good recommendation from her I will say it's called sheer velvet, right? So that is the formula. It's more sheer, it's not super opaque, and it's a velvet formula. So if you've tried the Lisa Eldridge velvet formula, it's very similar. It's almost like that powdery type feeling. It's not super matte or very long, like it's not extra long wearing or anything like that. So I don't find it drying on the lips, but if you do need that satin juicy type formula, then you probably won't like this. But I personally love it especially because i don't love wearing a super super matte lip this kind of gives me the best in between also one of my requirements for a lipstick which applies to all 10 of these lipsticks is that it has to be easy to put on i need to be able to put this on in the car or in a dark room or whatever it is and i need to not be able to work like i need to not have to worry about how pigments it is if it's going to go all over my face uh, and all of that kind of stuff. You know, sometimes like you got to be careful with some lips. I mean, some of these lipsticks, I should say, probably don't meet that, but we'll get that. To, we'll get to that when we get to that. Back to the Givenchy Sheer Velvet in number 10. Let me go ahead and apply this. Notice that I'm not even wearing a lip liner. So this is the Givenchy Sheer, Sheer Velvet in the shade number 10 Beige Nude. Again, you can see how easy it is to put on. I didn't even need a lip liner for that. And I feel like it's like the like slightly matte version of my lips, but better. Now we have another OG fave of mine. I head over heels fell in love with this lipstick and this lipstick formula when I tried it along with all of the other glorious things about this lipstick and it is the Hermes lipstick and this is in the shade number 18 
rose and scents. So first of all, the packaging of this, I mean, it's Hermes and boy, does it give you a luxury Hermes experience from the second you get it. It comes in this beautiful little orange box with a beautiful little kind of canvas pouch. And then this is magnetized and it feels and looks and just the whole thing just makes you feel like you've bought yourself a little Birkin bag. I'm not even kidding. And who doesn't want that? Well, maybe someone doesn't want that. I would like that. <laughs> this shade is what gets me the most. Rose and Sands is perfection. If you are looking for a pinky nude, then do not, and you are, you find that your lipstick kind of, uh, preferences vibe with mine then you will really really love rose and scents but also the formula of the Hermes satin lipsticks are perfection so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and again I definitely don't need a lip liner or anything with this lipstick that is rose and scents on the lips it's just a perfect kind of like pink my version of my color lips right i love it and i love that this is so creamy so it's not dehydrating on the lips it doesn't irritate my lips i can i usually when i go shopping if i pop this i just throw this in my bag and i can just quickly whack it on and i don't have to worry about again it's smudging all over my face or like me where like having to top up with my lip liner or anything and i just love it i just love it the whole luxury experience about it it's not cheap but for me it's worth it in fact the hermes rose and Zen's experience was so glorious for me i went back and purchased another one now this is in a different shade this is in the shade 13 beige Kalahari because I had my pinky nude and I wanted more of like my nude nude from Hermes that I could wear at any time. So it's the same formula. It's a satin formula, but it's just a more peachy nude. And everything that I love about Rosen Sands, I love about this lipstick as well. And it just kind of gives me, I've got like now two perfect shades from Hermes. So this one is number 13, Beige Kalahari from Hermes. Again, I didn't need a lip liner or anything like that to put this on. They are a touch more sheer. I will say that. So if you want something in insanely pigmented, then this isn't the lipstick for you, but maybe their matte lipstick would be more suited to your preference because that one is a lot more pigmented. I like mine to be a little bit more sheer and balm-like, so that's why I prefer these. But again, perfect for the everyday. Adore absolutely adore. Next up we have a lipstick that is just again an ultimate nude lipstick for me and it is the Victoria Beckham Beauty Posh Lipstick in the shade Girl. This is gorgeous. I love this for so many reasons. Again the packaging, you know I'm a luxury packaging type girl, it draws me in, okay? It, I am who I am. But I love this because it's so thin. So you can really just pop this in like a little clutch or your bag or whatever. And it doesn't take up a lot of room. Even your pocket, you can just like pop it in there. I love the tortoiseshell packaging. But mostly I love the formula of this lipstick. Again, a little bit more sheer on the lips. Not as like opaque and pigmented. And you do need to reapply it quite consistently throughout the day. Because it is a satin finish. It's more of like a balmy satin finish. But my lord, these are nourishing on the lips and just impeccable they're so juicy and they make your lips just look fuller for some reason so this is the shade girl Again, if I didn't want to wear a lip liner, I absolutely do not have to. It's another great lipstick to just throw in your bag at any time and pop on wherever you are. And you can rest easy knowing it's going to look good. And it's just, see how it's like a juicy formula. It doesn't accentuate any of the lines on my lips or anything like that. And it's just, again, that perfect shade of nude goes with really any makeup look. You just can't go wrong. So go. Mm definitely a huge favorite. Again, I loved the Victoria Beckham Beauty lipstick so much that I bought another one and this one is perfection too. This one is in the shade Pout, which is more of a pinky nude. If you haven't figured it out yet, my favorite lipstick shades are a nude and a pinky nude, like a brownie nude and a pinky nude. And that's pretty much my entire collection bar a couple of shades that you're going to see. So, you know, I have a theme here, but they all do something different. Okay. <laughs> now this one is in the shade Pout. I love it for all of the the exact same reasons that I love the shade girl. It's just perfection, just a different shade. So this one is the shade pout and you can see it's just the pinky version of girl. Um, if I could honestly have 
every shade of the Victoria Beckham lipsticks, I would. I mean, same with pretty much all of these brands that I'm talking about, to be fair, but particularly this one because her shade range of her lipsticks is really, really everyday makeup wearer friendly. They're nothing too crazy and out there that you wouldn't get use out of, and but they're all just slightly different and unique in great ways. So yeah, I really, really do rate the Victoria Beckham posh lipsticks highly. Highly. Now we're moving into the more opaque lipsticks in my collection that I absolutely adore because as much as I love a sheer balm like lipstick there's a time and place for those really strong opaque ones as well and also some different colors. So next up on my list this is the Tom Ford lipstick in this shade Scarlet Shock. So it is a bright red. It's in a limited edition packaging from the Badass collection but I believe you can still actually get this shade around. I love and adore this lipstick for many reasons. One, the packaging. I mean, this white frosted silver packaging is gorgeous. This shade of red is impeccable. It is a matte pigmented formula. This is actually one of the red lipsticks that I have worn that is definitely the longest lasting on my lips in particular. I drink a lot of coffee throughout the day, so I do find it hard for red lips to kind of stick around or really, it's one of the other reasons I guess I love a balmy type satin lipstick because my lipstick is gonna wear away from my coffee. So, uh, you know, a matte one is, it's, it's easier to reapply, you know what I mean? Anyway, this one sticks around for pretty much all day. Now you do, you should use a lip liner with it. It's gonna make your life a lot easier if you do because it is a really like bright pigmented red. I'm not gonna do that right now just because it's gonna be easier for me, but you know. This formula also being a matte doesn't irritate my lips, which is really important because if it's a lipstick that is gonna actually last me all day, then I don't want it to irritate or dry out my lips at all. And I find that this uh, doesn't do that, which is awesome. I think we most, like, I think most people probably know if you have tried the Tom Ford lipstick formula before, it is quite an incredible formula. So just ignore it if the lines aren't completely perfect, but this is the Tom Ford lipstick in the shade Scarlet Shock. Now the last three lipsticks in my top 10 are actually Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. And I feel like if any of you have tried any of Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, you know, you know the love affair that comes along with these. Now she has three formulas. She has the True Velvet, the Luxuriously Lucent, and the Insanely Saturated. If I have any of that wrong, I'll put it on the screen. And the True Velvet is more of like a matte velvet. So I think Givenchy Sheer Velvet, but insanely pigmented. Then she has the Luxuriously Luxuriously Lucent, which think like Hermes, Victoria Beckham Posh lipstick, that kind of balmy type formula. And then she has the Insanely Saturated, which isn't a matte, but is insanely pigmented, insanely saturated. And I have to admit the Insanely Saturated lipstick line from Lisa Eldridge is the longest wearing lipsticks I have ever tried in my life, hands down, period. I wore Sunday matinee to like go shopping with my mom one day and I put it on at 8 a.m. And I'm not even kidding, it was still on perfectly through drinking coffee and eating lunch and everything at five o'clock that night. I have never had that happen before ever, period, even with a liquid lip. They are insane insane but also very comfortable on the lips so i'm obsessed with lisa's lipsticks i really do just want every single shade because they are a whole other level of quality that i didn't know existed and i'm not i'm i'm i just can't sugarcoat it like i can't you know it is what it is for me. Again, it's all my personal opinion here. Take it with a grain of salt. What I've done is actually picked out my top three favorite shades that I have out of the seven that I have. Now, does that mean that I don't super, super love the other four that I have? Absolutely not. I love every single one, but these are just my top three favorite shades, at least for right now. Now, let's go ahead and do another red, shall we? And I think you guys will know this one. This is Strawberry Shock. Every time I wear it on my channel, you guys go so like nuts over it, you love it. And it, rightly so, it is the most beautiful bright red. It has that blue base, it makes your teeth like super white. It's an insanely saturated um, formula, sorry. So it's super long wearing. It's just an incredible lipstick. And oh my God, the level of pigment, like crazy, absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Strawberry Shock now. And you'll notice that you can honestly even just tap these on for like a lighter pigment, or you can like swipe to really, you know, build up that pigment. 
Now again, please ignore if the lip lines aren't completely perfect, but this one is Strawberry Shock right here. And I just, I just love it. I love it so much. And if I was to wear this to dinner, this would wear throughout the entire dinner. I wouldn't need to worry about it at all. It's not gonna budge or smudge around. It has that kind of dry down formula where even though it's on a complete and utter matte, it dries down enough that it isn't gonna like move around. I would even honestly feel really comfortable wearing this formula without a lip liner. It's just not gonna bleed or anything, at least on uh, not on me anyway. Next up we have the shade Velvet Fawn, which is one of her velvet formulas. And and her velvet lipsticks kind of got famous because when you first get them, they have this most beautiful like velvet imprinting on the actual bullet of the lipstick. It's incredibly beautiful. This is the True Velvet in Fawn, sorry. And this shade is a go-to for me. You guys see it quite a lot on my channel. The one thing I will say Lisa is missing is like a good set of nudes. I'd love for her to come out with just a really good range of nude lipsticks because that is what I'm missing is just like my real everyday shade. I got Kitten Mischief but it's still not quite quite right. So anyway, but this one's the next best and I adore it. You see it a lot on my channel. I haven't used a lip liner with these either as you can see and it's pretty darn good considering that I haven't used a lip liner. So they're still, even though they're insanely pigmented, they're still really easy to use and still quite fuss free. And the True Velvet isn't quite a proper matte either. It's more of like a soft powdery type finish, like a velvet finish. Again, if you've worn the Givenchy Sheer Velvets at all, you kind of know the texture, but it's a little bit more creamy even than the Givenchy Sheer Velvets. Um, I don't find it to be like line enhancing on my lips or drying or anything, but I know some people do. So if that's the case, you definitely want to stick with that luxuriously loosened formula. And the last lipstick shade from Lisa that is in my, my top 10 is actually a new one to me, but I... I mean, you guys loved this on me when you saw it, but I feel like such a badass in this lipstick color. I really do. Now, normally I wouldn't, actually it'll look quite good with this eye look that I've got going on, but I can just see myself wearing like no eye makeup at all, um, but heavy mascara and wearing this lip and like just feeling like an absolute like badass woman, like honestly. So this is the shade Sorcery and this is a, a true velvet as well. And it's, it's also, if you love into that 90s makeup vibes, you'll probably really love this lipstick as well. This is the shade Sorcery right here. And again, like 90s vibes, right? I just feel like vampy or something in this lip. I don't know. It was a lip color that I thought I was going to pick up and maybe not super love and expected to kind of almost pass it on to my mom. But now I'm just like, no, I, I am here for this and I am loving it. And it was a nice surprise. Anyway, so Sorcery is my last lipstick in my top 10. They were my top 10 lipsticks. Let's go ahead and um, close this video out, shall we? So they are my current top 10 favorite lipsticks in my whole makeup collection. Truly, I you should have seen me like analyzing because there is some honorable mentions that I want to give, but I'm, I'm going to keep it strict. You know, top 10. These are my top 10. Tough choices, but I'm pretty happy with these top 10. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below on my top 10. I'm assuming most of you guessed nearly all of them, um, but I want to hear what your number one. What is your number one? favorite lipstick of all time. I want to know in the comments, so let me know pretty please. And if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It means the world to me and uh, it helps my channel out a lot, so I appreciate it. And other than that, I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.